Welcome to our Enhanced Science 9 Force, Motion, and Energy class. When you were in grade 8, we discussed energy as the ability to do work. Energy is transformed or transferred in order to do work. Work may include lifting a box, pushing a chair, pulling a rubber band, or a wind blowing the leaves of a tree. Let us now recall the different forms of energy. There are two states or general forms of energy, kinetic energy and potential energy. Kinetic energy is the moving energy or the energy possessed by moving objects. Examples are bowling ball rolling on an alley or a jumping dog. Kinetic energy may be in the following forms. Mechanical, like riding a bike, light or radiant, like the sunlight, sound, which is a wave motion, like the vibration of the tuning fork, or the bats sending sound, thermal, which is transferred through heat, and electrical energy, like the lightning. An object can have energy even when it is not moving. Energy can be stored based on the object's shape or position, which is what we call potential energy. Forms of potential energy include chemical, like in the dry cell or battery, nuclear, found in nuclear power plant and the sun's source of energy, mechanical, like pulling a slingshot, electrical, like lightning, we should always remember that energy comes in many different forms, and these forms of energy are demonstrated in real-life situations. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It is only transformed from one form to another. So we can say that mechanical energy is always conserved. We know that mechanical energy is dependent on position and motion. So since mechanical energy is dependent on position and motion, it can be the combination of potential energy and kinetic energy. So the sum of the potential and the kinetic energies is equivalent to mechanical energy, which is constant based on the law of conservation of energy. Let us apply the conservation of mechanical energy. The hammer on its own has no kinetic energy, but it has some potential energy because of its weight. As the hammer is lifted, there is kinetic energy and potential energy present. Potential energy increases as kinetic energy decreases until it reaches the maximum height thus having maximum potential energy. And, this forces the hammer to move with greater speed downward, now has kinetic energy to hit the nail. Observe the dynamic heart as it moves down the inclined plane. Observe the value of the kinetic energy, the potential energy, and the total mechanical energy as the dynamic cart moves from the highest point to the lowest point of the inclined plane. At the highest point, the kinetic energy is zero and the potential energy is maximum, but the total mechanical energy is still maximum. At the lowest point on the ramp, the Ke is maximum and the Pe is zero, but still, the total mechanical energy is constant. And observe the speed of the dynamic cart as it moves down the inclined plane. 
from zero, it has an increasing speed. Observe the values of kinetic energy, potential energy, work, and total mechanical energy. When work is done, total mechanical energy becomes zero because work converts mechanical energy to heat which is dissipated into the environment. Another example is a roller coaster ride. Look at the values of the potential energy and kinetic energy and the total energy. Values are also provided to give you an exact interpretation of how the conservation of mechanical energy takes place. At the top of the rank, the potential energy is maximum. As it moves down the rank, potential energy and kinetic energy vary, but still the total energy is 100 to say that the total energy is always conserved. Another example of a roller coaster ride showing the changing potential and kinetic energy. Observe that at the lowest points of the ramp, kinetic energy is maximum, and at the highest point on the ramps, the potential energy is maximum. This is another example of the conservation of mechanical energy for a roller coaster. We're in height, speed, kinetic energy, potential energy, and total mechanical energy are provided. Okay, now let's have the pendulum set up to show the conservation of mechanical energy. You will see the values of Ke and Pe as the bob moves up and down or sways from left to right and you also see the height and the velocity of the bob. You will see that when the velocity is maximum, kinetic energy is maximum. When the height is maximum, potential energy is maximum. How is mechanical energy conserved when a baseball bat hits a ball? Potential energy in the muscles is converted to kinetic energy as the bat swings. Some kinetic energy is used to do work in hitting the ball, while some of the kinetic energy is converted to potential energy to follow through. The law of conservation of mechanical energy states that the total potential and kinetic energies of a system remains constant if there are no external forces acting on it. This law can be represented using the following mathematical equations. Ke plus Pe is equal to Me. Pe maximum is equal to Ke maximum. Ke initial plus Pe initial is equivalent to Ke final plus Pe final. Let us apply this law in the given problem. As a 0.5 kilogram mango stays on a 2 meter tree, its gravitational potential energy is 9.8 joules. As it falls, Pe is converted to Ke. What is Pe and Ke halfway the path of the mango? And what is the Ke of the mango as it strikes the ground? Ignore air resistance. So since the maximum height of the mango is 2 meters, we can solve for the GPE maximum. So on the tree, which is 2 meter, the GPE is 9.8 joules. Ke is equal to 0 since the object is at rest. 
halfway, which is 1 meter, the GPE will become half. It will become 4.9 joules. And KE is also 4.9 joules. Always remember that any point on the path as the mango falls, the total mechanical energy is the same. On the ground, we're in. The height is zero. The GPE is zero. While the KE will gain the maximum potential energy, which is 9.8 joules. What if the 0 0.5 kilogram mango coming from the 2 meter tree falls? What is the PE and KE at 1.5 meter and at 0.5 meter? So at point or at 1.5 meter, the GPE is 7.35 joules, while the KE is 2.45 joules. If you will combine, the sum is still 9.8, proving that the mechanical energy is conserved. At 0 0.5 meter, the GPE is 2.45, while the KE is 7.35. Combining the two, you will still have 9.8 joules. So at any position on the path of the mango as it falls to the ground, the total mechanical energy is the same. It is constant at 9.8 joules. Let us try to answer this challenge problem. As a 0 0.5 kilogram mango stays on a 2 meter tree, its GPE is 9.8 joules. As it falls, PE is converted to KE. What is the maximum velocity of the mango as it strikes the ground? Knowing that GPE maximum is equivalent to KE maximum, we can now say that KE max is equal to 9.8 joules. So KE max is equivalent to 1 half mv squared. Deriving the equation, we have v is equal to the square root of quantity 2 Ke max over m. Substituting the given values, we can now have the maximum velocity of 6.26 meter per second. To sum up, an object with mechanical energy can do work on another object. The more mechanical energy an object has, the more work it can do. And finally, Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. So as potential energy decreases, kinetic energy increases and vice versa. That ends our discussion on conservation of mechanical energy. Reminder, for more physics videos, you may visit my YouTube channel, Teacher Jackie Teach. Like and subscribe. Have a nice day.